Drake and his parents own a company called Little D Designs, where they make earrings, bracelets, and necklaces with an outdoor theme. Drake is a great tribute to the outdoor world. But Drake has been diagnosed with a rare form of dwarfism called MOPD Type 2. But that doesn't slow him down as he hunts and fish all across America. But because of Drake's height, he isn't able to pull a compound back, so today we set his crossbow up with the AMS Bow Fishing Crossbow Kit. What are we going to try to go shoot today, Drake? Big fish. Big fish, that's right. I like he didn't say fish. He said big fish. How cool is that? We just made it here to the landing. We're getting all set up. You got a big smile on your face. I think you're pretty happy. Yeah. <laughs> and look at this. The sun is popping out now. I think we're going to get some good fish, Drake. Okay. This is going to be a really neat trip here. Yeah. And uh, I hope these fish are back here spawning. Yeah. And I'm pumped up. Are you? Me too. All right. Give me a little of that. Oh, there we go. Good job. Oh! Woo! Are you ready? Should we go get the boat in the water and get set up? Yeah. Okay. Spot of the day. When bow fishing, you almost always shoot down unless you're shooting silver carp. Due to Drake's height, he had a hard time shooting low enough to hit the fish with his tripod. So lucky for us, the side rail was the perfect height for him to take a shot. Just shot just a tick high on him there, but you do you did an awesome I'm job. So close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> you know, one thing I enjoyed about bow fishing with Drake was his determination. He missed a few fish, but he didn't let that get him down. And after seeing a bunch of these big buffalo carp swinging around, I kind of got an itchy trigger finger. I grabbed my bow and I stuck a big buffalo carp because I wanted to let Drake pull it in so he could see the size of somebody's Wisconsin buffalo. Here you go, Drake. This is a big one. Woo! I let a boy in. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> That's a big one. <laughs> awesome is right. You like bow fishing? Yeah. <laughs> one of these fish right here can lay two million eggs. Whoa! That's a lot, isn't it? That's a lot. That is a lot. <laughs> After pulling the fish in, they decided to head back in to get a bite to eat and prepare themselves for Drake's first nighttime bow fishing adventure. Judging by the clarity of the water and the number of fish they saw, there should be some great bow fishing action tonight. <laughs> Drake shot us some great fish before the commercial break and had a blast pulling in that big buff I shot. But now it's time for Drake's first nighttime bow fishing adventure and his first connection with the fish. And we just got out here for some nighttime bow fishing. We're in a hot spot here, Drake. So, are you excited? Yeah. I'm glad that you're along tonight. I really am glad that you're along with us, Drake. This is going to be a fun night, okay? All right, let's go get some fish. Give me a little dab. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Jesus, so close! <laughs> Real 
and you did it all by yourself too. Wow. <laughs> you just shot your first fish bow fishing, man. Awesome job, Drake. <laughs> you want to slap my hand? It's all dirty. <laughs> I weird poop. Is that fun? Yeah, that's very fun. You're shaking. Are you excited? <laughs> yeah, excited. Well, we just got done. First night out here for Drake bow fishing. How was it? Good. You got your first fish. That made the whole night worth it. So it's 12.30. We're gonna go back to the motel, get a little bit of shut eye, and hopefully the sun is shining tomorrow morning. And what? Come back here. Come back out here to do some bow fishing again, right? So for the AMS bow fishing and our new H2O junkie right here, we're gonna wrap it up for night one. And these are some of the, the bracelets that Drake makes. And you, you got me a bonefish. That is so cool, man. Thank you so much. Well, Drake, this really means a lot to me. I really appreciate this. That means a lot to me, Drake. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, we're going to head out on the water. I got my lucky charm today. All right, here's my other lucky charm. Yeah. You bet. Let's, get. Let's go get him, buddy. <laughs> oh! Right here. Awesome shot on that, Drake. Give me a little. Good job, Drake. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Awesome. Being able to spend time on the water with Drake the last two days really meant a lot to me. And I'm so thankful that Bev and Randy allowed Drake to come up and go bow fishing with us. You know, sometimes we need to take a step back and cherish good times with family and friends. And that's what's so great about the outdoors, is it brings us closer together and making memories is what it's all about. Unfortunately, Drake passed away and never got a chance to see this video. But we all know he's up there on the big pond bow fishing with his big Drake smile that will last in our hearts forever. After making great memories on the water, bow fishing with Drake, it's now time to head south to Florida to do some big game bow fishing for some alligators. This hunt's gonna be a lot different than most of our bow fishing adventures and other gator hunts as we're gonna try to stalk a gator during daylight hours. Bow fishing alligators is usually done at night on an airboat, driving through the marshes to get closer to the gators. After practicing with my equipment in my backyard at home, it's now time to jump on a plane and head south to Florida. Florida alligator trip. We're going down and try to stock up on a big gator. Should be a good time. We just got on an airplane heading to Florida. So stay with us. Aim is bow fishing the H2O junkies. House. 9.30 we arrived. We're gonna get all settled in here and jump in the swamp buggy and go check it out.
12:30 at night down here. It's our first night out here in Florida, and we're scouting for some gators in these ponds. Got that nice one sitting right there, about a nine-footer. I'd be very happy with that, stocking up on that. Just sitting there. We'll leave this one alone and come back in the morning. <laughs> That's cool. Since 1988, Florida's statewide alligator harvest has been nationally and internationally recognized as a model program for the sustainable use of a natural resource. Each year, alligator measurement units are established with appropriate harvest quotas to provide recreational opportunities for Floridians and non-residents who are at least 18 years old. Completely out of the water. Got the mouth half open. The wind is bad, so we're gonna go around. Try to come in from the other side. So if you can see him from here or not. Man, did I screw up on that shot. I shot right over top of that alligator's back. But stay tuned because after these commercial breaks, we're heading back out for more gators. The AMS Big Game Retriever Pro is bar none the simplest, most durable bow fishing reel on the planet. And it's the only one with zero drag. There's no buttons to push for the shot. Just draw, aim, and shoot. The telescopic clamp and arrow quiver make adjustment, removal, and storage of breeze. This Big Game Retriever allows the end of your line to be pulled from the retriever while tied off to a tracking float or a deep sea bait casting rod and reel. And with the heavy duty brass gear and pinion, aluminum trigger, composite housings, and stainless steel fasteners, this reel was meant to last. And it's made right here in the USA. Man, I tell you what, it's not easy to stock up on these alligators. And after sitting so long to finally get a good shot on that alligator, I blew the shot, I missed, and it really set me back, but hey, that's hunting. You put that behind you and you move on to the next alligator and hopefully this time I connect. We've got our 
first gator that we spotted. And uh, right now we're going to climb down. We're going to walk around the, the berm of this, goes around this pond here. We're trying to come up on the back side of it. The wind is just right. We're just coming up on the back side of it. So, time to grab the gear and we'll chase the gator. Man, I tell you what, after missing two great opportunities on nice gators, we didn't have much time left. It was my last day there, so we quickly jumped in the swamp buggy, cruised around the swamp, and lucky for us, we found a gator swimming around one of the ponds. We called this gator in from the swamp buggy, and I made my shot. Thank you, Gabe. Thank you. You bet. Thank you. So if you want to get an exciting boating challenge, hook up with Joe Minshew from Central Florida Sportsman. He'll get you on the gators and you'll have a blast. Well, we hope you enjoyed this week's show. And you know what, Julie? I feel so blessed to be able to spend time on the water with Drake. He truly was an inspiration to me. Drake definitely made an impact on you. And what's up with you missing those gators? Oh man, I tell you what, that trip still haunts me to this day. But hey, that happens. Sometimes we don't connect with our shots, but I still brought home some excellent gator meat. Remember to always check your rules and regulations before hitting the water. And don't forget, aim low, think big. You're gonna, keep, <laughs> you're gonna fucking, you're gonna put that. Yeah, like, what are you gonna do with that skill? You gonna make, you're making a necklace? Are you? There's your gator, he's all the way out of the bank. So we put a stock on. Nice hand tail. <laughs> How about that one? <laughs> but I still brought home some excellent gator meat. <laughs>